Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls UMC. I'm here with you to share with you the daily devotion with this little book, The Upper Room. Today is June 10th, 2020, Wednesday, and the title for today's devotion is See the Face of God. Let me read the scripture first. The scripture is from Genesis 33, verses 1 through 11. Now Jacob looked up and saw Esau coming, and four hundred men with him. So he divided the children among Leah and Rachel, and the two maids. He put the maids with their children in front, then Leah with her children, and Rachel and Joseph last of all. He himself went on ahead of them, bowing himself to the ground seven times until he came near his brother. But Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him, and they wept. When Esau looked up and saw the women and children, he said, Who are these with you? Jacob said, The children whom God has graciously given your servant. Then the maids drew near, they and their children, and bowed down. Leah likewise and her children drew near and bowed down. And finally, Joseph and Rachel drew near and they bowed down. Esau said, What do you mean by all this company that I met? Jacob asked. Uh, Jacob answered, To find favor with my Lord. But Esau said, I have enough. My brother, keep what you have for yourself. Jacob said, No, please. If I find favor with you, then accept my present from my hand. For truly to see your face is like seeing the face of God, since you have received me with such, such favor. Please accept my gift that is brought to you, because God has dealt graciously with me, and because I have everything I want. So he urged him, and he took it. Amen. Today's story story is from Jack, uh, who lives in Florida. Let me read the story. Growing up, I was no saint any more than Esau. My younger brother was not a devil any more than Jacob. Like all siblings, we competed for time, affection, and family resources. For a while, for a while in high school, almost every day when we arrived home, we would so I would so frustrate my younger brother that he would start fights with me. Looking back, I realized that if the shoe had been had been on the on the other foot i'd probably i would probably have done just as my brother did when my brother recently wrote me for perhaps the three times expressing regret for his behavior in our younger years i was finally mature enough to see what he had long needed from me he need the face of God looking back at him saying, Forget about it. It's done. It's over. Neither of us was an angel. So certainly, he isn't the only one who needed to apologize. As if scales has fallen from my eyes, I realized 
I needed to assure my brother that he is forgiven and that his reaching out to me helped me to move on. After all, after all, he had done all the heavier lifting until we've asked for forgiveness from another. We can't imagine the sense of God's glory that comes when we extend our lives, ourselves, this way in love. It would be very hard, in, I mean, my, our heart would be very hard if we didn't get any forgiveness from the person we loved. In Jack's case, and in the Bible, the Jacob's case, they made a mistake and they wanted to be forgiven by their brother. And they finally got it. And when they are forgiven by their brother, it was like they see, and they saw the face of God. We know that if we have the same situation and somebody really forgive us, we will see the same thing. We will see the face of God through that forgiveness. And if we forgive someone, the one would, would see the face of God from us. So, I hope we have good heart and loving heart so that let us forgive one another and let's ask somebody to forgive. Then we can see the face of God from each other. As we know, forgiveness is one of expressions of love. When we see someone's love, we can see God through the person, through the love through the expression of love. So can we? Love, uh, can we love others? And can we express our love to others? Then they can see God. They can see God's face through us. Let's love one another. And please remember, the forgiveness is one of the expression of love. God wants us to love one another. That is why God bind us together as a church family and our as a friends. Let us be like God. Let us resemble God. Let us follow God's ways in our lives who come to you in this time? Is there anyone who you want to forgive? Is there anyone do you have you should ask forgive you? If you have someone who need to forgive, please. Today would be the day that God wants you to forgive someone. If you have someone who you should ask their forgiveness, today would be the day you ask forgiveness. Please, contact them and forgive them or be forgiven by them. Express your regret and asking their forgiveness. 
Little Fortress family, I hope all of you are well and safe. And every day would be the best day for you because it is given by God. So today, following the word of God, let's make this day the best day for all of us. Let me lead us a prayer from here and then I will uh, add my prayer to you. Dear God, thank you for showing us how to forgive and for allowing us to see your glory when we do. Gracious God, as a person, as, uh, as your human beings, we we make mistakes. We make mistakes to you and to people. Especially to close people, we make a lot of mistakes. Sometimes we do not ask. We didn't we couldn't ask their forgiveness because they are too close or we don't know what's the wrong with us. Sometimes we don't have any brave to ask their forgiveness. However, through the devotion today, through the scripture today, you want us to forgive someone or you want us to ask someone to forgive us. Give us your brave, give us your heart, give us your love, so that let us forgive someone and let us be forgiven by others and you. Lord, please remember your people who are sick, who lost their family member, who are suffering from this situation caused by pandemic. There are people who are fighting with this situation, the first responders, medical staffs, the pub officer, officials of the public service. Lord, please remember all of us and give us your strength and your wisdom and let us go further, get close to you and make this word as your kingdom of God. Give us strength today to live out today's lives for us. And let us see you more and feel you more. Thank you for everything you've done for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone. I hope you have a good day and good week. Um, I will see you tomorrow and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.